Now, our lead story tonight, Cam Colton, has been temporarily closed because several students tested positive for tick-borne relapsing fever. The students who caught the fever are receiving the proper medical treatment and are in stable condition, but many families may be concerned about what this outbreak means for their outdoor community. Stephanie Frader King brings us more. Several students who attended a team building event at Camp Colton tested positive for tick borne relapsing fever. The students are currently receiving treatment at the Coconino County Public Health Services District. Tick borne relapsing fever, it's a zoonotic disease which is acquired from the direct bite of a tick. It is not transmitted person to person, which is really important for people to understand. You do have to come in direct contact with the tick. The tick that causes this illness, however, isn't your typical hard-shelled arachnid. So this is a unique soft-shelled tick, um, and it's different in that it doesn't necessarily look for human hosts to feed on. They burrow with um, rodents, so to speak, and so um, most likely individuals have to then come into contact with the rodents and then thereby the tick. These ticks only burrow in wild rodents, so there's no need to worry about any pets you may have at home. If you are worried that you may be suffering from TBRF, here are the following symptoms. Obviously the first one is fever, intermittent fever, um, nausea, low appetite, um, general body pain, ache, muscle ache. Um, you may have a rash. You may notice sensitivity to light. So those types of um, symptoms, and they're going to vary by individual, of course, but if somebody is experiencing those type of combined symptoms, they should certainly contact, contact excuse me, their primary care physician. While tick-borne relapsing fever is rare and is only found in the western states of the U.S., people should remain cautious and take preventative action, such as wearing repellent in tick-infested areas, such as old cabins or sheds, tucking your pants into your socks, and checking regularly for ticks. The treatment is fairly easy. It's just a simple course of antibiotics. And so again, this is very preventable and it's very treatable as long as people um, check in with their primary care providers if they're not feeling well. If you feel like you're experiencing any of these symptoms, please inform your physician. For NAZ Today, I'm Stephanie Faderking.